under the nest. Huh. I've looked in there over and over. What did I do with it? Oh, oh, hi. Oh, I'm having another one of those days. Everything seems to be going wrong right from the start. Well, I'll tell you what the trouble is, you see. I was going to tell you all about the letter R. You see, it show you the capital R and a little r. And I put the R's on a piece of card, and I put them down in my nest. And then I decided to sit down and think about words that begin with the letter R. Like words like um, ram and rabbit, room. Nice R words. And I was going to hold up this card with an R on it. I don't know what happened. I, after I sat down, thought about it a while, huh, I found out that the R's were gone. I haven't been able to find the card. And I have really looked everywhere. Hmm. Not under there. Huh. I'm about ready to give up. Huh. It's just no use. <sighs> sunny day, sweet. Oh, hi, Big Bird. It's not a sunny day, Bob. It's it's not a sunny day, Big Bird? Mm -mm. What, what's wrong? You look really glum. You know what happened? No, what happened? Oh, I just lost something. What, what'd something you lose, Big really Bird? Something really important to well, me. Hey, hey, Big Bird, what, uh, what's that on your back? It's no use, Bob. I'm just going to go back to my nest but and, Big, and be sad. But, Big Bird, what, what are those R's doing on your back? Uh, nothing, because... No, those... Hey, wait a minute. R's? Yeah, those on R's on your back. back. Yeah, what are they doing there? What, what R's on those my R's back? Those R's right there. See them? Don't you oh. see them? Right no, here. I, I can't see my back. Let me Th turn these around. These R's right here. Weird. Oh. <coughs> Big Bird. I, I don't see Big any. Bird right here. These... Weird. I don't Big see... Bird. Wait a minute. Wait, Hold it, Big Bird. See... Stop. My... Stop, Big Bird. Hold. Hmm? Hold it, Big what? Bird. Right. Right here. Hey, wait. Right here. Got some R's. Wait. Right here on your back. See them? Oh. There's a capital R. And the small r. Oh, you know what, what? happened? No, what? I put some glue on them, the letters to stick them to the card, and it's got all gluey and oh. it stuck to my feathers oh. when I sat down on it. I, that's oh. what I must have done. Is that what happened, Big yeah. Bird? That's why you were so sad and everything? I was sad. Oh. But I'm not anymore. Because you found your r's. I found my r's. <laughs> What? What is it now? Uh, um, <clears throat> um, excuse me, Oscar, but um, uh, would you mind um, telling us what kind of sound the letter R makes? In <laughs> well, he's right, you know. This rip-roaring story of the race for the roses is brought to you by the letter R. The rickety railroad train is rolling into Rockwood Station. There they are. They're rolling down the ramp. Ragged Rabbit, Red Rooster, and Raving Rhinoceros. Today, we will have the race for the roses. The crowd is growing restless. The racers are ready. And they're up. They are rolling. Ragged Rabbit races ahead of the field. The crowd is roaring for Ragged Rabbit. Red Brewster and Raving Rhinoceros are trying their best to stay in the race. Look, Ragged Rabbit has quit the race. He is rolling into Mr. Robert's garden. The crowd is rising, Ragged Rabbit. Ragged Rabbit is digging roots and eating carrots in Mr. Robert's garden. We have two racers remaining, reaching for the roses. Red Brewster rolls ahead. Raving Rhinoceros is on the rail in the rear. Whoops, there goes Red Brewster, rolling off the raceway. It looks as if Red Brewster has found his roost. Now let's return to the race. Will Raving Rhinoceros reach the finish line? Will he finish? The people are standing and cheering. Raving Rhinoceros heads right for the big hour of roses. The winner, 
Raving rhinoceros, he wins the race for the roses. When rabbits stop to dig roots and roosters quit to find their roost, raving rhinoceros can reap the reward of roses. Now you see Big Bird when he lost those R's, right? Got all upset. Got, he almost got angry. But I, I don't blame him. I would have gotten angry if it happened to me. Wouldn't you have gotten angry? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you've gotten angry. You want to know what happens when you get angry? Let me tell you Wait about that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Am I hearing right? Or they got you talking about being angry? That's right. You're when not the only I one. I am the expert on being angry. You're the expert. Well, so hey, what? I mean, you're not the only one who gets... Grouches oh. are almost always angry. Yeah, but I can get angry just as well as you can, Oscar. Well, no, I know that. Yeah. But I can get angry better than you, or any kids can get angry. You think he can get angrier than anybody? No. No, no, we don't think so. Go ahead. If you think you can get angrier, you show us. All right. Now, I I'll okay, tell you what. What? You show me. You're so smart. Oh, yeah? Okay, you lead off. Go ahead. Now, let's you see you frown. Frown? Everybody frown. Okay, frown. let's see you kids frown. Frown, frown. Everybody frown. Ha! <laughs> oh, look at that. You call that a frown? That's the expression I have when I'm in a good mood. That's the way I look. Okay, now, uh, watch me. <laughs> that's, a, hmm? that's a pretty bad that's frown. That's a frown. Yeah, that's a frown. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now. Now, that, now, let's hear you growl. 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 Now, you call that growling? Listen yeah. to this. Huh? That's a pretty good that? yell. Right. So, now, all right, yeah. let's hear you yell. Go yell. <laughs> huh. You call that yelling? Why don't you ask him to do this it This is time? yelling. <laughs> That is when you are really angry. Huh. Huh. Oh, boy. You know, imagine them asking you to talk about being angry. Well, yeah, yeah. When, when instead of asking me, the expert, that makes me angry. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How stupid can these people be? Uh, having to talk about anger when I am the expert. Yeah. Yeah, now, now listen. When what? somebody takes your ball away and pushes you out of line, of course you get angry. Right. Right? Right. But of course you gnash your teeth and you bash on things and you get all, all, all angry and you all, all, all. <coughs> <sighs> Oscar, you really got angry. Yeah. Uh, well, <clears throat> but I'm fine now, Gordon. As a matter of fact, I feel really tip top. So long. Angry. 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 And we put a little mouse right there. Hold him up. You know what? You got five fingers on your left hand, five fingers on your right. Five fingers helps you wave good morning, helps you brush your teeth at night. Oh, five is such a pretty number. I'm awfully glad that I five fingers on my left hand. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. Everybody got five fingers on your left hand? You sure? Five is such a pretty number, you know. You got five fingers on both hands, left and right. Five fingers helps me throw a baseball. Helps me tie my shoe up tight. Oh, five is such a pretty number. I'm awfully glad that I... Five. Fingers on my left hand. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. How about that?
that. You got five fingers on both hands? Everybody, how many fingers does everybody have all together? Ten. 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 Ah. Hey, guess what I'm going to talk about right now? Guess what I'm going to talk about? Tell me. What do you think I'm going to talk about? Um, fingers. Fingers? It's a good guess. Five. Absolutely right. I am going to talk about five, because that happens to be one of my favorite numbers, Jill. Come on over here. I want to tell you all about five. Would you believe that I am practically a walking five? Would you? You have five toes on your feet. Oh, you're right. I've got more than that, though. I've got more fives than that on me. You've got two. What else have I got five of? And you've got fingers. five on your fingers. Five on my fingers. But I've got something else in my pocket. Guess what's in there? Gum. Gum. Oh. Gum. 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 One, two, you can count them. Three, four, five. How's that for a start? Pretty good? Yeah. I like that. Marble. Marble. You sure? Yeah. Guys! <laughs> You're right the first time. Five marbles. One, two, count them. Three, four, five. I like the bubble gum. You like the bubble gum? Yeah. Money. Money. What kind of money? Um, silver. Penny. Silver. Silver? Yes. Yeah, what kind of silver? Um, quarters and quarters. Dollars. Quarters and, dollars. and quarters. Count them. One, two, three, four, five. Bet you'll never guess this one. Keys. See what's inside. Paper clips. Paper clips. Paper clips. Paper clips. Five of them. One. Two, three, four, five. They're now, huh? They're pretty big, yeah. They're the big kind. Mm hmm. Now, how many groups of fives do we have? Four. 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 One. We need five four. groups of five. What? We need five groups of five to have two fives. We need five groups of fives? You think so? You think we should have five groups of five? Yeah. What now else do we, we have need five? Another five? That's right. What else could we use for another five? People. People. people? Buttons. What people? One, two, three, four, five. One. One. Yeah, but let's six. if you don't count me, how many have we got? Five. 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 No, people. six. Oh. <laughs> She's over here. over here. Right. Jill is over here now. Hey, that's right. One, two, three, four, five. I have five friends here, right? Right. And if I were to take each piece of bubble gum and give one to each of my five friends maybe i would have five good friends one two three four five 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 is a fig. F-I-G fig. This is a pig. P-I-G pig. This is a twig. T-W-I-G twig. This is a jig. J-I-G jig. This is a wig. W-I-G wig. This is a fig. This is still a pig. This is a twig. This is a jake. This is a wig. Fig. Pig. 
Twig! The jig! Wig! And this is the end! Come on, come on. Everybody, get your arms up. Up. All the way up here. All the way up here. Higher. 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 Everybody up here? Hey, you know where we are now? Where? We're up in the sky. Way up in the sky. Now, we have to see what's going on up in the sky, right? All right. Stay where you are. Stay behind me. Come on. We'll walk around here in the sky. See what we find. Maybe lots and lots of things up here. Come on. A little warm up here. Or is it cold? What do you feel? You feel warm or cold? Huh? Warm? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Here. All the way over. Over. Here. That is a rainbow. Can you see it? Rainbow. All the way over. And that's the end of the rainbow. So we have to step over. Everybody has to step over. Let me go first. Big step. Over. Make a big step over. Come on. Good. Get over, Jill. Get over, boo. Nice. Got over there. Okay. Let's see what else we can find here in the sky. Oops. No. That's the sun. Shield your eyes. Jill. Jill. Shield your eyes against the sun. Don't look right at it. Don't get too close to it. That's the sun. What else is up here? You know what that is? What? All in there. That's a cloud. That's a cloud. Now let's see what we can do. Swim. Swim through the cloud. Swim through it. Swim. The cloud's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Wow. Swim all the way through it. Swim all the way through it. Cloud's getting higher. Higher. Swim all the way up. What a cloud. What a cloud. Oh, it's getting colder up here now. Feel it? Yeah. Feel it? Yeah. Feel it? Colder up here. Up here in the sky. Whew. Been up in the sky a long time now, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, go you want to go down to Earth? Everybody want to go down to Earth? Yeah. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. It's dangerous up here in the sky. Let's swim back down. Back down. Swim back down through the clouds. Oh, swim through the clouds. Easy. Come on. Come on. Look at all these clouds. Everyone knows where airplanes go when they fly, they fly up in the sky. But do you know where airplanes go when they come home? When they come home to be washed and checked over? This is where they go. It's called a hangar. That's right, it's made very low and long to fit the airplane.
Do you know what lives in this building? I bet you do. That's right, a car. Lots of cars live in garages when they're, when they're not being driven. Now this bus carries lots of people, and when buses are put away at night, they have lots of company. See? They're in a bus garage, and it holds hundreds of other buses. Here's another way people get from place to place, by horse. Or well, at least out west they ride a lot of horses. This is where a horse lives, in a stable. Now, see if you can figure out who lives in this kind of building. Or this kind of building. Or maybe this kind of building. That's right. It might even be you. which one is prettier. The triangle over here is so nice. And also the rectangle. I can't make up my mind which one is the prettiest. The triangle over here has one, two, three sides. All triangles have three sides. The rectangle over here also looks so attractive with its four sides. One, two, three, four. Either one of the displays would look very nice in my store. But I just can't... Oh, here's Big Bird. I'll ask him. Big Bird! Yes? Maybe he can help me out. What, what you call me, Mr. Yes, Cooper? Big Bird. Hi, oh, what you do, How are you? Can you tell me, what? Big Bird? Yeah. Oh, 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 dear. I, <laughs> gee, I, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, what did you want me for? Nothing, Big Bird. Nothing. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, you want to play a game with these cards, with these pictures? Yeah. yeah. Do you? You know what the name of the game is called? No. What? What? happens next. You know that game? Yeah. All right. We've got two pictures here, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me about the first one, Jill. What's happening? A boy, a boy is riding a wagon um, going to a friend's house. A boy is riding a bike going to a friend's house. And Josh, tell me about the second picture. I know. A boy is riding to his friend's house and he, and he goes over a nail. And he goes over a nail. How do you know he goes over a nail? Because there's a nail right in front of him. So you think that He's if we had another picture here, you think that what would happen, Josh? He might turn. He have a flat tire. He'd he have might a... turn or he might have a flat tire if he doesn't see it. He goes over it. Which do you think would happen? How many a say he had tire. a flat tire? Flat tire. Something like that? A flat tire. Yeah. What happened? He got a flat tire. He, he got a flat over here, mm. and then the air right. the next one he sees. Like ah. he <laughs> okay, but you said there was another way to end the story, right? Yeah. What'd you say was the other way that could turns. be? He what? He turns the steering wheel and he avoids the nail. Turns the steering wheel and avoids the nail, right? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. That way, huh? He was lucky if he saw the nail in time, huh? So, what we could tell is that there's sometimes more than, more than one way to end a story, right? He either could have run over the nail, like this picture here, 
attack, or he could have turned. turned and saw the nail down there and stopped and picked it up, right? And avoided the nail. Right. Buried it. <laughs> so. So someone else could run over so it. So someone else could run over it. <laughs> so there's more than one way to end a story, and lots of times there's more than one answer to a question, more than one way to solve a problem, right? Hey, got a question for you. If I knocked on Oscar's can, what would happen? He would, he, he would come out of his trash can. He would come out of his trash can? Let's find out. Who knocked on my can? Who is? Okay. Oh, it's you, Gordon. That's right. Because I have a question for you. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Look ahead. right over there. What Where? do you see? Here? Right there. Are you bananas? That's just a little girl. Everyone knows that's a little girl. That's a little girl, Oscar. Yeah. That's right. But. It is also a Nina. It is a Nina? That's right. Are you bananas? No, 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 no. What do you mean no, no. a Nina? Nina is the Spanish word for girl. Oh, hey, Nina. Nina. Girl. Girl. Hey, I've learned to speak Spanish. You certainly have. Hey, I'd like to learn to speak more Spanish. You know why? Why? Because I could then get angry in Spanish, too, because you're bothering me. Goodbye! Well, Bye, kid. Well, I guess that's about it. Uh, Oscar's Oscar, so I mean, what are you gonna do? We'll go play some ball. See you later. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letter R and by the number five. Sesame Street has been a production of the Children's Television Workshop. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.